The man who put his feet up on Nancy Pelosi's desk is 60-year-old Richard Barnett, known as Big O. He uses the name of an American military legend as his Twitter handle, George Reincarnated Patton. He took an envelope from Pelosi's desk as a souvenir. I left her a note on her desk that says Nancy Big O is here, you There is a nationwide manhunt underway tonight. The Fed studying those horrifying images and videos and already making arrests tonight. Federal authorities are determined to leave no stone unturned, ramping up efforts to bring all the Trump supporters who desecrated the Capitol to justice. His name is Richard Barnett. He was seen in that photo, and he's just been arrested in Arkansas by authorities and charged with entering and remaining on restricted grounds with violent entry and with theft of public property. I didn't steal it. I bled on it because they were and I couldn't eat. And so I figured, well, I'm in her office. I got blood in her office. I'll put a quarter on her desk, even though she Sorry about the bleeps there, we had to. Anyway, Richard Burnett is one of the most infamous rioters arrested. His trial has now been set for May, but the judge in his case has again denied him bail, prompting Burnett to yell and scream in court. Hello everybody, I'm David Schuster. Thanks for watching. By all accounts, it was a courtroom tantrum. Richard Burnett, who has been locked up in a federal detention facility for five weeks, was told he would not be released and shouted to the judge, it's not fair. According to a transcript of the virtual hearing, Barnett said, The government keeps dragging this out. Everybody else who did things much worse are already home. I've been here for a month. They're going to set it for another month, and everybody else is getting out. The judge then called for a recess so that Barnett could speak with his attorneys, but before the break, Barnett yelled, This has been a bunch of crap. After the break, the hearing continued uninterrupted. Barnett faces seven felony charges and has remained behind bars pending trial ever since Chief U.S. District Judge Beryl Howell ruled that Barnett is a flight risk. The criminal complaint says that on January the 8th, after the Capitol insurrection, Barnett drove back to Arkansas, turned off his phone's location services, used only cash, and kept his face covered. When federal agents interviewed Barnett in January, he said they would not find much at his house because he is a, quote, smart man. In photos of Barnett sitting in Speaker Pelosi's office and chair, a stun gun appears to be clipped to his waist. Records indicate that he did buy a 950,000 volt stun gun walking stick at a shop in Arkansas five days before traveling to Washington, D.C. Barnett's lawyer denies the hearing outburst was directed at the judge, quote, Mr. Barnett's frustration stems from the fact that he is incarcerated pretrial, despite lacking any criminal history, being gainfully employed, respected by his community, and in a stable relationship for over 20 years. Barnett, though, is not afraid to speak his mind, as interviews from last year in Arkansas establish. But I'm not playing. You know, this this time for us to stand up. This is our country. This is the last bastion of freedom in the world. When this is gone, it's over, people. It's just gone. Regarding his alleged trespassing in Speaker Pelosi's office, Barnett insists that he was swept inside by other rioters. I don't think that's going to fly with a D.C. criminal jury, but Barnett will have plenty of time to consider his odds while he remains in jail.